So this question is a system of equations question, right? So this is under the category of knowledge, is what I'd say, which basically just means there isn't necessarily just a single strategy that I use here. It's my ability to recognize that this is a system of equations, and the question tells us as well, right? But then also knowing, well, whenever I have a system of equations, there are two methods that I can use to solve that system of equations, which is substitution, which I very rarely use, but sometimes I do use it. And the one that I use more often is elimination. So let's read the question and determine which strategy or method we want to use to solve the system of equations. So the question says the solution to the given system of equations is the ordered pair x, y, which just means we find a value for x and we find a value for y that make the system of equations true. This question is asking for the value of y. So I'm going to use elimination in order to eliminate the x value, which will allow me to solve for the y value. So let's rewrite the system of equations. So I have negative 3x plus 4y equals 4. And then I have 4x minus 3y equals 0 0.5. Because I want to eliminate the x value, I'm going to multiply this top equation by positive 4 and multiply this bottom equation by positive three. And then let's see why I did that. So by multiplying by four across the entire equation, I end up with negative 12x plus 16y equals 16. And by multiplying the bottom equation by positive three, I end up with positive 12x minus 9y equals three times 0 0.5, which is 1.5. Now, when I add these equations together, this is where the elimination step is because my negative 12x plus a positive 12x eliminates the x value. 16y minus 9y is 7y, and 16, I should have said 16y plus a negative 9y, right, because I'm adding this equation. 16 plus, 16y plus a negative 9y is positive 7y, and 16 plus 1.5 is 17.5. Now, I want to solve for y, so I'm going to divide both sides by 7. Again, this is the non-calculator section, so I know I have y equals 17.5 over 7. I'm going to simplify that and say, well, how many times does 7 go into 17.5? 7 goes in twice. That's 14. 17 minus 14 is 3 bring down the point 0.5. Point 0.5 is, in fact, what I'll do is I'll add a zero here, move the decimal to the right once, add a decimal point here, and that makes this 7 into 35, which would be 5. So my answer here in 5, I'm sorry, 5 times 7 is 35, leaving me a zero remainder. So 7 goes into 17.5 2.5 times, and therefore y is equal to 2.5 and that would be my correct answer here.